Okay, we want to write the quadratic function in vertex form. Problem is we have a leading coefficient. So what we're going to do, let's get rid of the 1 first. And we'll subtract 1, subtract 1. So we get y minus 1 is equal to 3x squared minus 12x. That leading coefficient has got to go. So let's just factor out that leading coefficient. y minus 1 is equal to 3 times x squared minus 4x plus, and let's set it up so we're ready to complete the square. All right, completing the square we know is fairly, fairly easy. We're going to take the middle term, negative 4, take half of it, and double it. Or in square, I'm sorry, half, take half of it and square it. Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Squared is going to be 4. Now the problem is this, this 3 out front makes that 4 a 12. So we have to add a 12 to both sides. And we now have the equation y plus 11 is equal to 3 times, and my, this is a perfect square, so this can be x minus 2 quantity squared. We were asked to put this in vertex form, and I should have done this first, but y equals a x minus h squared plus k is the form we're looking at. So let's go ahead and add plus 11, plus 11 back in, and we get y is equal to 3 times x minus 2 squared plus 11. That's my vertex form, so then my vertex now is 2 comma 11. My axis of symmetry, um, axis x is equal to 2. And from there it would be easy to graph if we needed to.